It is the 5th of the 9th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm starting with uh, EarthChangesScott.net. U.S. Tropical Storm Lee spawns tornadoes on the Gulf Coast. Uh, as far as the Weather Channel goes, it is now Tropical Depression Lee. Um, as I'm making this report, it's been downgraded. Uh, Lee spawned tornado sightings and alerts from the Louisiana Gulf Coast to Florida Panhandle on Sunday. At least one death was reported from a traffic accident related to the storm. Uh, and again, it goes on and on about the, the severe weather that Lee has brought in and all the, the heavy rain. And uh, what they're not mentioning is that uh, the Coast Guard did finally confess to the fact that the BP oil spill continues in the Gulf of Mexico. And... Um, all this oil is being picked up by the storm, and um, pretty much toxic rain is falling on the southeastern United States right now, and uh, all that Lee entails. So uh, time will tell, of course, and uh, I would love to see some rain samples of Lee. Over to the extinction protocol, uh, we got an M-class flare erupts from the sun. Now this is not Earth-directed. Uh, Although the blast site was not directly facing Earth, radiation from the explosion nonetheless ionizes Earth's upper atmosphere and uh, causes the northern lights and whatnot. 6.1 magnitude earthquake strikes Vanuatu, and again this is a very volcanic area on the Ring of Fire, uh, just north of New Zealand. Rare events send South Pacific waves crashing into the California coasts. Uh, Los Angeles, massive waves slamming into California's coast, killing at least one person and causing millions of dollars in damage are being labeled the New Zealand surf because of uh, where they are coming from. In a rare event, a big weather system between New Zealand and, uh, and Antarctica has generated a hev heavy Pacific-wise swell, bringing the waves to California. So, uh, yeah, there's... I've been watching some film on this, and there's some pretty extensive waves going on right now, along with some pretty big uh, rip currents as well. Typhoon Talas carves trail of destruction through Japan, 18 dead, 50 missing. Now this has struck uh, southern Japan, but the rains and um, the Fukushima area are expected to uh, receive heavy downpours of rain and uh, high winds, of course, uh, because Japan is not a huge country, uh, pretty much most of it's affected by this typhoon, but uh, it's their season, of course. Christ Church rattled by three more tremors on quake anniversary date, and uh, my heart definitely goes out to the people of Christ Church. They are, are having troubles, no bounds, with these earthquakes in a very unstable area. Uh, their city is in big trouble, and uh, they're still dealing with uh, tearing down buildings and rebuilding lives in uh, once was uh, Christchurch. Japan marks 600th eruption in uh, Saku Saku Sakurajima volcano this year and that's one of Japan's most active volcanoes. Uh, I put up videos on it. I link them of course uh, every now and again down below and uh, this is just an ongoing. It just seems like it's picked up a lot since the 9.0 earthquake as well. Um, this volcano is becoming a lot more active. Forecaster predicts brutal UK winter weather for 2011-2012. And uh, I'm calling no shit because uh, they found that new um, current coming down from the Arctic down past Ireland. And uh, yeah, you're definitely in for a cold winter for sure. Uh... And 101 East Indonesia bursting at the seams, of course, overpopulation and all the volcanic activity that's going on in Indonesia. I believe they've got up to 22 volcanoes right now on alert status, and uh, that's quite a big number. And that is about all I have for you climate change tonight. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm definitely going to do a... Uh, a fallout report. I uh, got a lot going on there, so enjoy what you can. Uh, let me know down below, and uh, I'll see you later.